First of all, we need to know what is life cycle thinking. It is an approach that considers all the environmental impacts and incorporates various aspects associated with the product over its entire life cycle. It's gone beyond the traditional focus on production side and manufacturing processes to include environmental, social and economic impacts of a product over its entire life cycle. There are many, many processes that take place in order for a product to be created and put out into the world. From the extraction of raw materials from natural resources to the way a product is used by a consumer and then eventually disposed of. These different stages in a product's life are referred to as life cycle stages. In each life cycle stage, there is the potential to reduce resource consumption and improve the performance of products, such as the 6-3 philosophy, rethink, reduce, replace, recycle, reuse, and repair. As my previous explanation, life cycle thinking takes a holistic view of a process throughout its entire life cycle. It is also known as the cradle to grave approach that has become a central feature of modern environmental management and of the developments which underlie the protein concept of sustainable development. The main goals of LCT are to reduce a product's resource use and emissions to the environment and to improve its socio-economic performance through its life cycle. Different LCT tools could be used to perform an environmental study such as life cycle assessment, life cycle costing, social LCA, de eco design, carbon, water and ecological footprint. In order to achieve sustainability, the evaluation of environment, social and economic impacts and benefits in decision making process must be done on a product life cycle. When we talk about sustainable manufacturing, creations of manufactured products through economical sound processes that minimize negative environmental impacts while conserving energy and natural resources. Sustainable manufacturing also enhances employee, community and product safety. Sustainable manufacturing is important to business key player in terms of to increase operational efficiency by reducing costs and waste to respond to or reach new customers and increase competitive advantage, protect and strengthen brand and reputations and build public trust, build long-term business viability and success, respond to regulatory constraints and opportunities. Now, let's continue with life cycle management, how it relates to life cycle thinking. Let's take a look at this diagram. We can assume that life cycle thinking is the mindset. It is a holistic systems perspective considering all environmental impacts an organization has control of through the entire life cycle. Life cycle management can be considered as the environment. Life cycle management starts from life cycle thinking and is a business management model for the integration of product value chain actors and environmental considerations. What is life cycle management? LCM is an integrated concept for managing the total life cycle of goods and services toward a more sustainable production and consumption. It is a dynamic process in which organizations may begin applying it with specific goals and objectives, depending on the resource they have. Let me discuss on how to make LCM successful. The implementation of life cycle management can be successful with the participation of all levels in the management of the organization. These are the eight critical success factors of life cycle management top management support, communication and interaction, integration across functions as part of everyday practice, alignment with business strategy, knowledge of life cycle management, holistic environmental approach, and collaboration of product chain actors. Life cycle management can be conceptualized by considering three bottom line sustainability. Next, We'll explore the benefits that can be gained from adopting a life cycle management strategy. First of all, 
for the industrial sector, by integrating the life cycle perspective, the organization are able to apply and develop a cleaner process and product options, which will definitely improve the brand image and value for not only the global market players, but also the small producers and suppliers. Next is on the benefits it has on the government sector. Initiatives done towards implementing a life cycle approach will secure and strengthen the position of industrial and service sectors while ensuring an overall environmental benefit towards the society. With it, governments can display its global responsibility and governance by sharing the sustainability option across the globe. The third beneficial outcomes would be for the consumers. Lifecycle approach will offer better information to act as a guide for the consumers in aspects such as purchasing, transport system, as well as on energy sources. Not only that, but it will also offer a platform for multi-stakeholders dialogue and public involvement with the industries and governments, exploring the agenda and strategies for sustainable developments. I would like to relate agriculture with environment because agriculture is the main driver in environmental concern. Therefore, adopting life cycle management strategy in terms of environmental management in agriculture production system is very important because it involves cradle to gate in the agriculture production, enhance sustainable value chain production in agriculture as it is an important catalyst in improving farmers' income, strategic planning in the agriculture production system as it integrates environmental and food safety issues. Besides, it establishes environmental friendly concept, preservation of welfare and safety of workers, produce quality and safe produce which is suitable for consumption. Let's look into an example which is MyGap. MyGap is Malaysian Good Agriculture Practice which is a certification scheme developed according to Malaysia standard MS1784-2016 for crop commodities. The stages involve site management, production to harvesting, post-harvesting or packaging. Throughout the entire stages, MyGap Certified Farms focuses on four criteria which are food quality, food safety, workers' health and environment. Last but not least, MyGap is a holistic approach for life cycle management strategy.